Yeah. Uh, fun fact about the main, the title screen where you select the different games on this uh, game. The poses he's doing for each one are resembling the original box art of what he was doing originally in the box art. I think, although I'm pretty sure on the front box of the PAL version of Sp Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon, he was doing a sick kick flip on his skateboard, man. So I may be wrong on that. But in other artwork, he was always shown charging towards the camera for like Spyro Dragon Part 3. So we got Breeze Harbor. I really want to do something deserty, but like. I remember Breeze Harbor being a bit of a shit show, to be honest. I feel like there's a lot of supercharges and water and the pelicans can be assholes but like it's the fact that I'm only vaguely remembering it means that I know it's not my favorite you know what I mean uh, that's the problem I really need to get the rest of my videos edited and uploaded to be honest before oh the pelicans are good oh it's these fuckers the bucket slime Literally pissing on this campfire. Oh no, how will I, a waterfowl, deal with water? Oh yeah, I remember. There's a lot of like, you can't progress until you get the magic machines going, and it's just a load of like very sharp ledges with erratic charging with these assholes and their short range attacks and long range attacks is just a whole thing. A whole thing. Oh great, I'm glad I nearly died. Why do you have a ship? You can fly and swim. Well, they not swim, float. Uh, okay. Before they didn't have like gears and gear packs and red bandanas. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so yeah, I get that. You, but it's just like, where the fuck do you want me to go from here? But look at the shit that. I probably should have been listening to him, but it's like. Holy shit, are you boring, sir? Okay, stoke up fires under boilers. Thank you for this, uh, letting me talk to you again, because I'm ignorant. Yay! Glad I was paying attention. That's what I get for too busy to talk about character design key changes. Oh, and these guys, yeah, I remember all of this. This is just... These two remind me of, like, metal soul rocks. They kind of look like metal soul rocks. The only reason he's wearing a fireman's outfit is because he literally has a water hose. You think about that. Like, there's no other reason. Oh, this is what the problem was. You trying to use these wonky ass turrets which were like way too loose with how you fired them and would not fire the right way and you'd have to spend a load of time going uh like this. Just every pixel up, down like this trying to get it. But now it's smooth. Cause of course it's fucking smooth, because it's like there's no excuse now. And getting all of these, because they kind of just go everywhere. I mean, to be honest, I think the big thing it, uh, I've noticed with the Spyro reboot has been, or remake, is that it's nowhere near as hard as the Crash remake, and I don't know what they did to change it. But, uh, 
I don't think they changed the difficulty. I just think one of them, you know, got a lot easier just because they made little, like... This is what I'm talking about, right? Because what it says three out of eight, right? And you're like, wait, why is it three out of eight? We haven't talk, spoken to a guy, talking to a guy who told us to, to blow those up. And it's like, yeah, you might as well just... I learned from the other game levels. If you get the option and it's not like a power-up gate, just fucking kill the things as you go along. Because always you're going back and forth through the level and everything takes an hour to complete when it could take like 10 minutes. I mean, I am being a bit melodramatic with my time. Oh, yeah, just random. Lava is random. Okay. Like, I don't know what it is, but it just feels, you know. It just feels like the... The direction changes a lot from dra uh, Dragon 1, Spyro 1 to Spyro 2, you know? Uh, I would say that was very noticeable. Uh, yeah, these guys. Uh, before we talk to him, let me finish my thought. Uh, the direction just feels very different, like the impetus on, like, maybe it's just me. But uh, the direction that these, this, this is the one, this is the one where it's like, you're not pixel perfect, and it's exploding right next to it, and you're like, are you, there you go. Oh, and this, this little shit, we're just gonna shoot until, yeah, first time. Yeah, it feels a lot less like, oh, what the fuck, why would you jump off that way? Uh... This feels like the first one where it goes from, no, 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 you have to collect all the things, it's really important, and it's a story reason why you're collecting the treasure too. Oh yeah, the treasure's here, because fuck you. Like, literally, it's to them, it's like trash they don't care about. Those orbs, and they're, they're bartering with you, like for the orb, like, oh, you want this orb? Help me out, do my laundry, and it's like, what the fuck, man? You don't care. I was thinking he was the gear minigame guy, to be honest, because he's right near the gear track. Yeah, just like, because, you know, you literally don't seem to get anything for getting the gems this time, other than money bags needs the gems, because you've got to remember, special progression item for this game is collecting all the orbs for the secret ending. Otherwise it's just talismans. Which means... What's, what's the point in, um... The gems anymore. They've, got, they've lost really any meaning other than you need them to shut money bags up. And for percentages. Oh, there's two. I thought so. Any more? Oh, there is. Yeah. Eh, clam juice. Uh, one nice thing they do that a lot of games could do with is the moment you complete a task, they teleport you back to where you're supposed to be, so you don't have to platform your way back, and you get your orb, and it's not like, go back to quest giver, it's literally like they teleport you to quest giver, give you the text and whatever. Nice if they gave you an option, but it's not like it's a memorpaga, so it's like, you know, can't expect it to, it's not like the levels are massive and you're going to be teleporting across worlds and shit. So if you just go back to the quest giver, oh the quest giver is literally like a millimeter your other way. Or like a couple of meters across the level. You're in a kids game, you got to think, how many children are going to have done the challenge, gone, oh I've done the challenge. 
and then just left and gone, shit, you didn't give me the orb, because I didn't go back to Quest Giver. So, uh, you know, just little things like that really do help. Yeah, I know. Ooh. I don't want to leave too early and miss some shit. Uh. Okay. Oh, fuck you. I love how every time I get hit, I just re revert to profanity. <laughs> Changes direction. Look at this little shit. No, you're dying. Welcome to die. Welcome to die. Stuck in. Look at him. This little shit. Look at him. Look at him. It's like the thieves in the first game. Oh, he crossed me up. Look at this mix up. Yeah. Good. Go to hell. And now I've stolen their boat. <clears throat> Much nicer textured than uh, before there wasn't all this attention to detail with the buildings and shit and it looked really nice and it's a nice like coastal town with some mountains in the background before it was not so pretty. As one can anticipate <laughs> like with the amount of uh, power the original PlayStation had, there was only so much they could do, and a lot of it was short draw distance polygonal shit. Low texture, low res, everything's just a... This would have just been a big pale texture, no brickwork, no anything. It would have just been like beige, with like, maybe this, this, but really low poly, like the metal, but it would have been a flat texture with a hastily, like, riveted kind of texture over the side of it, you know describing PS1 graphics to people. Feel old now. PS5's out soon, holy shit. Hey, I remember this being horrible. Collect 50 gears. There's no reason that we have to do it this quickly. There's no reason it has to try to fucking kill me. Why he's not doing it himself is also just completely fucking confusing and baffling. Slowly go pick the shit up. What's the problem? Dead. Oh, now you tell me. <laughs> he tells you the controls after you've crashed once. That's fucking amazing. Wee. There's a cannon. Yeah, take that sign. Oh, I should have shot the should have shot the fucking thing. The thing. The thing. Give me the thing. Uh, oh, all right. Oh, I have to shoot that to turn. It's okay, it's okay. We can do this. We can do this. I'm, I'm an adult. Yeah. Sick jumps. This feels a lot better. A lot of the ball ache in this, uh, I say. Yeah, and I remember that. Trouble with the... No, trouble with the fucking TNT you're pouring out onto the fucking ground as they drive around. Can't you tell them to stop for five seconds? Just saying, health and safety in the workplace, man. Doesn't blow up. Okay. Oh, that other TNT was low TNT, so I was supposed to jump it. No! <laughs> Turbo with the trolley, eh? No. Oh! I wanted to go get the gems. Oh, they're gone. Must have gone. Oh, this is... Yeah, I remember this being even worse. Way worse, I should say. Just it being like, oh, what the fuck. Ugh. Um... 
because it just there's so much lag between movements and it made it just a ball ache to play. Here it's just like I'm just fucking up because I'm an idiot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Ah! I didn't see the sign. Now! Fuck you! Oh, I've gone. Oh, I'm going back on myself now. I panicked. I knew I had to shoot a sign. Who makes things this way? It's on the corner, man. Okay, yeah, I. So how do I get the... Ugh. Oh! No! <laughs> Why does it have to be 50? We can do this. We can do this. I don't need to cry. Wah. Also, you notice that these aren't even rail tracks. It's just like, what is stopping me from just... What the fuck's going on? Alright. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. That's really unclear, and that's... Oh, no. You jumped because oh, round and round we go. Uh, shoot this! Oh! oh, trouble with your trolley. Because the fact that you have to do it all over again is not like oh, you've already collected these. Go, just go get the ones you missed. It's like. Fine, I get it's part of the challenge, but it's just so long. <laughs> I mean, you fuck up, like, right at the end, you have to do the whole thing again. Ugh. Oh. have to hear him say trouble with the trolley A again. Talk down to you. Did you know how to steer? Yeah, that's not really the problem. The problem is that you keep putting fucking TNT on the tracks. Yes. Yes. Eat your dick. I don't know. I may I may do it. I may dib it. Yeah. Then we'll go do the jump in the back. I was gonna say jungle for some reason, because I saw some plants and cliffs. The bit at the back. Mm. 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 And then it says 49, and I go, what the fuck? Trouble with the trolley, eh? Trouble no more! <laughs> Why does he sound like Nappa? Ain't got room for this no more. Hey, Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta. Pandas. <laughs> Oh, that I don't even. Okay, what are we missing? So we we sorted out his thing, and we didn't get so much as a talisman or nothing. I see something shiny over there. I want it. Wait for me. Going back. I'm going back. Yeah. Yeah. Let's horribly risk killing ourselves because I can't stop moving. Yeah. No. No, I talked to you. I got your orb. I think I got all the orbs, have I? Yeah, we're trying to get a talisman. Yeah, yeah, 
ये 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 मैं आप So shiny. Yeah, sort of thought. I did it. Did I not do it? Did I not do it? I st I, like, we got a cutscene of the, the thing moving. Am I being. Did I miss something? I probably missed something. Tell this kind of place was one of those. Whoa! Oh no! I thought I saved it. You could tell this was one of those levels where they made water not fatal. I thought, shit. Now what? Make it all holes and lava. Why for reasons? And you're like, okay. Okay, we're going this way. And we're not gonna rush everything. A reckless gun jumping. Wait for me, wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. Yeah! Immediately gun jumps. Oh my god, if you say I have to... Good. I saw the gears back and I was like, oh, you made me redo that. I will stab you with my shoes. Um, just failing to understand what it wants. Oh, it wants me to go talk to him. <laughs> One hundred percentage. Oh, you're evil and you're attacking Zephyr. Okay, well, evil's a perspective, I guess. Aren't we gonna go to Zephyr as well? That's a bit awkward. Playing both sides of the battle here. Dead. Oh, this is brutal. Using their own young as ammo to shoot the adults down. Spyro is a brutal world when you start nitpicking it down to what's actually happening on screen and putting it in like language that makes it sound bad. So basically like everything. Like that like this one time I was working at the airport and I was working with this lady and she was from was it Hong Kong or mainland China? It doesn't really matter where she was from, but like she obviously had about as much tact as a brick to the face because she had no concept of what body language says. So, um, this Spanish lady who barely spoke English was, like, uncomprehending everything she said to her. So this Chinese lady thought it would be a great idea to take this woman's child from her and start shouting at her and pointing. Because she was basically saying, you need to take, you need to collapse the pram so that we can put it through the x-ray machine. And the lady was just like, you know, I don't want to say care. She wasn't just like care, she was just like, you know, uh, I don't understand in Spanish. And this Chinese lady thought the great response would literally be to just like snatch the baby out of a pram, start shouting at her in English and then walking away from her. And then she got a disciplinary because this Spanish lady started crying because they thought security was taking her fucking baby. And for the rest of the time I worked with her and the rest of the time anyone mentioned her name because she wasn't popular with anyone because she is just so fucking rude. Uh, we used to just say, whenever her voice came up, uh, her name came up, we just used to respond straight away with all me and my mates, she stole a baby. So when she got put up for a... Uh... Good, I hope this kid dies. Look at this dumbass kid. We're saving these dumbass kids. He straight up has the whirly hat. 
Oh, he's getting shanked. So yeah, she she got a disciplinary for this, and when it came that she was going to come up for promotion, everyone just kind of remembered that, and every time... I went for the same promotion as did all my friends, and, like, literally the response was... Uh, whenever someone said, why not this lady, why not, like, Karen, I'm not going to say her real name. Oh, I didn't talk to her, and, oh, fuck. That's too busy. I'm pretty sure they used to have guns. But I just set up for everything. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, it became really, <laughs> we just kept bringing up the fact that she once stole a baby, and they were like, oh, yeah, that's true, she did, she does have multiple disciplinaries. Any, like, I've never understood this right. Uh, who told anyone that's talking like this and doing that kind of, I'm so sorry, mister, is in any way, like, anything other than annoying? Like, who's going, oh, how adorable are little shit kids being extra cute for manipulatory purposes? <laughs> like... Oh, I'm sorry I burnt your dog, mister. It just sounds kind of racist as well when I do it, because it sounds like I'm taking a piss of people's accents when it's their second language. Oh, man. You know, there's only, like, when an adult does the same accent, it does just sound like you're taking the piss out of people. But, like, for some reason, everyone goes, it's so adorable when a kid does it, and it's like, that kind of accent... That affectation that they're putting on, that intonation, is not uh, natural, I'm learning English and I'm making mistakes because I've worked with children. No child actually naturally goes, oh, hello, and all this weird shit. Talks like a fucking baby. Is in, like, a cartoon baby. So I've always hated that sound. Raise the flags, and then we go to war. From a distance, those catapult guys do look like they're supposed to have muskets, and that's kind of weird. Or blunderbusses. Sorry, I'm not an old-timey gun fanatic. And they are just running at me with knives, so that's... Yeah, I, that was one thing I really hated about these levels, was the uh, dumbass, blue-eyed, white kids who are like, Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. It's like, oh, fuck you. I hate you. Maybe that's the point. But really, honestly, the gag for this one is, oh, they're saying they're going on a super secret spy mission, and you're supposed to go, aha, uh -huh, yeah, sure thing, kid. And then it turns out they're actually spies. And you think, I don't think the developers knew that they just accidentally made the most frustrating characters in the entire of <laughs> Spyro. <laughs> Maybe they did. This is a cool level, though. The desert levels do a lot of cool shit. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't get why there would just be two fucking Caucasian kids unattended in a desert pseudo-Arabic environment like this, because that seems like... pretty risque. Yeah, so anyway, I, I spent the rest of my life the rest of my career at one place literally mentioning every time someone brought up a certain person's name that she stole a baby. <laughs> that was literally the conversation, man. Oh. Money, 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 money. I always wanted to go to Egypt and Morocco and Turkey. I'm just saying this because I saw desert sands. And, you know, every single time I was going to go to Egypt as a kid to see the pyramids, every British person was told, don't go now. There's a huge terrorist problem. 
you have to go everywhere under like armed guards otherwise you'll get shot and that just never stopped being a thing in a lot of British people's minds to the point that even ooh do I get something? I do not oh I thought that was going to be a collect the coconuts mini game which I bet you it is it's just not until I talk to the quest giver uh yeah, a bit random, I have to admit, the uh, game can be a bit random like that, where sometimes you can do the quest before you talk to the guy, other times it's like, no, go talk to the quest giver first, and we'll deactivate, like, you remember the Himalayan themed level, where it was like, you saw the statues, but you couldn't talk, you couldn't, like, interact with them until the end, and I was like, yo, what's this about? Why, why do they look like Grimace and Otoga as well? Ow. Don't laugh at my pain. No shit. Great spies, by the way. They hang a lolly from the ceiling and this guy goes for it and gets captured. Cowisman. So, so she, she, she literally said the last sentence without a lisp. And she's literally put in, like, were on L's and R's. Wow, she's so cute. Doesn't she sound like Harley Quinn a bit as well? Is that, oh, jeez, boss, I will. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> How come he has a perfectly normal thing? So we're going to shoot a flag keeper off the flags and give handle the flags. Oh, with this? Two and two makes four. Yeah. I killed him. one so far. Oh! <laughs> I can do this, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Ow! Oh! Do I just have to avoid the bombs, or do I have to catch him? That's why I'm charging, because I'm trying to catch him, but he keeps backing off. There's not really bombs either, they're like spirit ball balls. <sighs> I don't get it. Ugh. Oh, hi yourself. Yeah, I can see why this is... 
considered like five star. <laughs> Fine, keep your fucking flag. Oh, I just fucking steal it from him and then play a stupid game. What else are we missing anyway? Oh, you get that flag off of him. And he gives you an orb, but what? Is it, where the, oh, the other orb's like getting all the flags to go up, right? Maybe. Get it? She's ugly because they're related. <laughs> she smells. Oh, okay. I just kill him. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know what? I might just say fuck it this time. This is this level. Not my favorite level, but they've done it a lot better than they did the first time. There's a lot more detail and a lot more just environment detailing furniture like the like the rugs and you know they really went crap they went ham with some stuff and I like that. Uh but yeah I always preferred the other one, the Oasis, but still both are good. Like I was saying, I always wanted to go on holiday to some of these not this some some desert areas. We left them to die, great. No, oh, they didn't die. Oh well, I kinda have everything. Sorry, that was really mean. Oh, I'll start a new thing now. We'll do Oasis and I wanna do Fracture Hills next, so